Hello, this is Paul from Force Attack. In this video, let's prove theorem 4.2.1, which is the subspace test, and this is a super important uh, result. Okay, here in the back of the space. Uh, subspace test, we have defined what is subspace, right? Okay, uh, the subspace test can simplify the definition of a subspace. Uh, subspace is the vector space, okay, inside another vector space. Uh, a vector space means all the 10 axons we need to verify. And you see, this result says we only need to verify two axons and the A. What is A? Uh, if U and V are vectors in W, W is a subset of a general vector space V. Okay, so UV are vectors in W, and then the sum is inside. This is the closure and the addition, right? So this exactly is axon number one. So A is axon one, right? And the B, and the, if K is a scalar number, use a vector in W, and then K times U is D inside W. That's a axon number six, right? And the top is closed under scalar multiplication axiom number six. And this theorem says we only need these two holds, and all the other eight axons are automatically hold. Okay, why? <clears throat> um, let's see, get, let's, let's look at the proof. We have to verify if we need to say that is a subspace. Uh, only two axons is not good enough. We need to verify other eight axons, right? Okay, so let's verify one by one. Um, now look at uh, axon number two. What is axon two? So let me just put a name. Axon number one is. Uh, Closure and addition. Let me say this a clo oh, sorry. Closure and uh, addition. Number six is a closure. And uh, scalar multiplication. Okay, I just put a name. Okay, to remind you what is the axon we have. Axon number two uh, is commutative, right? It's commutative. Commutative. Uh, it's commutative uh, holds mm, a definitely okay is already this property commutative is a property uh, this property is true in the general vector space V of course it should be true in the subset okay of V which is in W we usually call it inherited okay, inherited uh, or let me just um, I'll put a reason for you. Um, let me give a U and a V both belong to W. <clears throat> and then uh, we say, see, if this belongs to W, and then what? Because W is inside the V, so therefore these two vectors, U and the V, also belongs to V. The vector the space, right? If it's belong, this is the vector the space. Okay, this is the vector the space. The vector the space means all the axons we need to hold. Therefore, what do we have? We have uh, u plus v equals v. Oops, plus u. Is that true? Uh, that's the axon uh, number two in V, right? That's the axon uh, 
uh, number two, community of the, in the general vector space uh, V. But this uh, U plus V, you see, is uh, closed under W. So U plus V equals V plus U. So the are two in W, right? So therefore, this is true. Okay? So therefore, the commutative is also true. And this procedure, usually we uh, give a name, and for other properties, I just uh, use the same name. I will not uh, show all the detail. We usually call it in uh, have it the property. Okay, so usually say the property is a uh, yeah, parity. Okay. It's just uh, this. And uh, all the other properties, I will just um, skip the proof. So look at uh, axon number two, this number two, right? So you have it here. And then we look at uh, axon number three. Oh, oops, sorry. So you have it here. Okay. <clears throat> and then uh, let's look at uh, axon number three. What is it? Uh, Axon number three, uh, associative, right? It's the property, associative. Of course, this is a property, okay? So the, uh, oops, let me skip. So you can follow the same way as I proved it for the axon number two. Uh, this is the uh, parity, the same, okay? The same as before. Okay, and then I skip this. You can write for yourself. And then axon number four. What is axon number four? Number four is the identity, right? Okay, so identity. Oh, identity uh, of z of addition we call zero. So let me give you another name. Uh, first, the existence of uh, zero vector is the same zero vector is what is the identity of uh, addition there are two parts okay so for the axon number four the first is the existence of identity the second is the property of identity which is zero vector plus any vector equals zero the property of course is inherited okay but the existence it is not a so okay we have to verify the this part existence do you think we have a zero vector in w we do have a zero vector in v right so how do you say we have a zero vector in w we can use this okay we can use uh, uh b if we take a zero I take a case zero zero times u, and we have a property of a four. Zero times u is a zero vector, so zero vector should be belongs to w. Therefore, existence is true, right? See, I just uh, look at it. Wow. Well, uh, because uh, so uh, let me give okay. So let me say u belongs to w, and then zero times u. Okay, it should be equals uh, zero vector, right? So I remember this is a property. Uh, we call it zero four point one point one. Okay, you see that the property of a vector in general vector space, and it is true because zero times u scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication is closed, right? So this belongs to W, and that's because of the B. Okay, so we look at so that's true. And the existence and the property of addition definitely should be inherited. Okay, uh, another is the property of uh, zero vectors, okay, uh, which is a uh, u plus zero equals zero plus u equals u. This should be true, this is inherited. Is a heritage okay from uh, the general vector space 
v. So therefore, I can some four is two, right? So therefore, this is two. In w, and then x on number five. One by one. Uh, x on number five. What is x on number five? Existence of the inverse, right? Or inverse. We look at the existence of negative or inverse. Um, is this true? It's not a so okay. So existence cannot be inherited. Uh, give you a back that you, the universe of you probably does not belong to this W, but definitely belongs to the V, right? Because V is a vector space. Um, so let's look at it. Given, suppose, uh, given, oh, here, let me put it in it. Given U belongs to W, mm, can we find that the inverse? Inverse of U still belongs to W. Uh, yeah, we have to use the property, okay? So inherited from the vector space V, see? Um, because, <clears throat> Um then okay, negative. So the inverse first the inverse exists, right? Because U belongs to V. Therefore inverse of U exists in V. But uh, the way we don't know if uh, inverse of V is in W, it is in W because this equals negative one times U. Okay, so that's a property, right? And the uh, theorem 4.1.1, we learned up before. Okay, um, then this should be belongs to W because that's scalar multiplication. See, that's the uh, scalar multiplication B, the axon number two, okay, uh, axon number six, number six. Okay, U belongs to W, uh, and the W is closed under scalar multiplication. Therefore, this belongs to W. Therefore, the inverse belongs to W. See, existence of holes, right? And the property, of course, and this existence, uh, good. And now that the property of the inverse, okay. and the property of uh, inverse, should be inherited from the V, okay, back the space. So that's true. So therefore, axon number five it is true, okay. So holds in W. Uh, almost there. and then six. Uh, six is already right in the condition, and then seven. Axon number seven. What is seven? Oh, seven and eight. The same, a uh, similar. Okay, this is distributive. Uh, this is a property. It's not existence. So that's definitely inherited. Okay. So that's true. Okay, so this is a true. Um, after some number nine. What is number nine? Compatibility. Okay, compatibility. Uh, compatibility is also a property, so the property can be inherited from the general vector V. Okay, so it's the actual in W, the last. That's number 10. Uh, that's identity, right? Okay, identity. I identity of uh, scalar multiplication. Of course, that's like a property, right? So one times u is one times u equals u, 
Yeah, of course. Because you belong to W, and then W is inside the V, so you should belong to V. Therefore, one is the identity of V. Okay, so therefore, it's the same identity of W. So these are also inherited. You just uh, think about that. Yeah. Okay. So that's all the proof for the ten axons. So therefore, uh, the subspace. Therefore, W is the subspace of uh, V. Okay. Inside of V. That's all. Thank you.